homeless individuals in Wheeling are now facing two deadlines, both of them on March 15th. As always, the Winter Freeze Overnight Shelter will close for the season on that day. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Stephen Moore. And I'm Bailey Martin. Now they're being ordered to leave the exempted camp on 18th Street that they just moved into six weeks ago. 7 News reporter DK Wright has the late breaking details on why they're being ousted and who's doing it. West Virginia Division of Highways owns the property. They lease it to the Ohio County Commission. It was recently exempted from the city's camping ban and was being used as a clean, safe area for about 25 campsites. But a letter from the Division of Highways says please cease use of the area by March 15th. Advocates for the homeless say it was working well because resources were close. We feed them breakfast at 9 a.m. Uh, here at the Neighborhood Center. They have showers during the day. They can do their laundry uh, at lunchtime. A lot of them will go down to the soup kitchen and we do a dinner at three o'clock for them. So they get three meals a day. Portable toilets and dumpsters were provided and they say there were few behavior problems. They've been helping to clean up the area, making sure there are no issues uh, and we've been really lucky so far. But now six weeks later, they are being ousted. The city was really clear for us from the beginning that this was a temporary exemption. So we knew from the beginning that we would have to find an additional space. We're hoping that since there have been so few issues here, they recognize that this can be an effective model of care moving forward. And we're working with the city this week to look at additional options. But nothing is set up that can be available by you know, March 15th. And you know part of the regulations are you can't displace a camp unless you have an alternative place for them to go. Dr. William Mercer says these forced evacuations are harmful to the homeless individuals. Yeah, very traumatic, and that's why we're trying to get our city to rescind that ban that you make it illegal to camp on public property. That is not needed. Uh, we can make this situation better without stigmatizing our homeless as being criminals. In Wheeling, D.K. Wright for 7 News, working for you.